The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Global Market Pulse with your host, John Logan. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, John Logan. Hi guys, welcome back to the show. Hope you're having a good morning. It is warm down here in North Carolina. And we've gone from showing chickens to wearing button downs. So, hope you guys like the change. Here we go. S&P's are up again. Wow. Major news alert. S&P's are up again. Um, you know, this is the type of, you know, gapping up like this after the Trump speech, some fears are over, blah, blah, blah. This is sometimes when things turn around. Just reminding you of this. I mean, there's a lot of euphoria out there. Everybody's loving what everything's going on. We've had a big move up. You've got a new profile that's happening today. And in all honesty, I'm looking to try to use 2371 the new daily unfair high to look at as this thing may finally reverse a little bit. So, uh, 2371, 237075 actually is the number to be aware of today. That's a big number. It's a new number. And there's the daily situation. The weekly, you just don't have any. If you, for long term investors, just been talking about this, nothing in the way. It's still the case. But, uh, you know, We've talked about the concept of um, you know things in an up move like this when they kind of gap up. I'd call this a gap up this morning, um, based on closes versus openings of the stock market. That is, uh, sometimes you find some sellers in situations like this, and sometimes it gets, gets carried away. I mean, the market's had a big move, and you got to be aware of that number getting below there. I think you could start putting your toe in the water on the short side. That's my opinion. Uh, looking at gold. Um, we've kind of gone through some numbers that I was talking about already. Had a little bit of a trading opportunity on the 240s there, a little bit of a bounce on that 20, 1249. I'm still not opposed to being long gold, but right now um, it's gone a little bit too deep below some of the inflection points. You've got a daily unfair high here, 1246, let's just call it. Uh, I'm stopped out of this trade on the intermediate right now, and you've got massive, just incredibly massive support at 1236. So those are the big numbers on gold, 1236 and 1246. We're kind of in the middle of that range right now, 1242. So right now it's kind of a wait and see to see if we can either get back above 1246 or migrate down to 1236 for a trading opportunity. Man, is this shirt wrinkled or what? Um, let's take a look at uh, crude. <clears throat> hmm. My screen. Reset your screen. Let me try that. They were having a couple of problems with uh, hot or the, the DEN software this morning. Let me see if I can do that. Let me just reset this for you. How about that? Is it a line right now? How are we looking? Looks good. We okay? Okay, much better. Got it. All right. Here we go. Okay, so crude still... Blocking out the short side on this one, nothing to really talk about. No inflection points really hit except for yesterday. Got very near to this 53 area, 52.98. Bounced up. Remember, this is a profile that's been enforced seemingly forever when it comes to daily profiles. This is pretty rare. So, again, breakouts outside this profile are going to be pretty powerful to trade. You know, the range is still being traded inside, but uh, the longer a profile stays enforced, the more powerful the breakouts are and the more validity it has to something like that the dollar not uh, unhappy about some of the things trump said getting back above 101.20 this trades off on the short side 
Steve Banger and I talked about, you know, what would rock the market or, you know, currencies usually kind of predicate some of those uh, types of events. But right now the dollar's gotten loose again on the upside and uh, it's not okay to be short right now. So that's the situation. The line in the sand for me was 101.20. So we've been, we breached it and we've actually eclipsed recent weekly highs from the last two weeks. So uh, again, you know, this is nothing to play around with now. This could get, you know, as a trader, you might, somebody might reference the show I've done and say, wow, you said two weeks ago, it's going to be short. Um, you you, you got to be nimble on your feet as a trader and, and you got to take losses sometimes. And this is one of those cases for me, especially if you look at the long-term view, it wasn't exactly super smart to probably kind of looking back in time to, to, to even think about this from the short side. But uh, there were some reasons why we had that attitude. But right now as a trader, again, in, in trader mentality, you got to be willing to take the medicine and uh, e either sit on the sidelines or reverse the position. I'm just kind of sitting tight right now. VIX trading above 12, uh, nothing to write home about there, 12.07. The 10-year uh, took a hit here, obviously. Um, we reversed two days ago back in the profile I was trying to block out the short side myself, but now here's a profile here, and we're getting below this particular one. It's definitely not in order to be uh, long at this stage, and that's awful. Fifth, the 50-year, the 30-year. Do they have a 50-year bond? Um, let me look at this here. So... Uh, Again, just coming unglued here on the downside, you had a feeling we were going to move one way or the other. I had a little bit more of a temperature for this to have a bid in it and keep a bid in it. Here's the 30-year on the long term here. Mm -hmm. Here we go. Okay. So the third, that's what the 30-year and the 10-year are at. I'm a little disturbed at that move. A lot of sectors are going to be popping up this morning just in sympathy with what the market's doing um let's take a look at the xle really quick this is one you really didn't have a lot of direction on um you kind of thought it, it may catch up with the concept of crude hanging in there so uh, i don't see any levers on this i got an email about that let's take a look at uh this scanner this is a new version i promise you these guys are working out some bugs here, so I apologize for the delays on this. Let me write that down. Saw something else here. Uh, here's the stocks that were breaking down yesterday and the day before. Kroger, it's kind of been uh, something I've had my eye on. We're going to take a look at Netflix, Delta Airlines, a couple other stocks that weren't exactly acting right yesterday and the day before. Caterpillar, we're going to take a look at that one too. TFNN is excited to offer a brand new piece of market scanning software unlike anything the industry has ever seen. John Logan and his team have spent years developing their market profile tools to finally be able to release the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. And right now, you can get a two-week trial absolutely free just by visiting TFNN.com and providing us your name and email address. The TAS Profile Scanner Plus is the premier market profile-based scanner in the industry, powered by the acclaimed has proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner is a standalone desktop software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Within three minutes of signing up, you can have the software downloaded and running on your computer with a complete roadmap of market indicators and inflection points to trade off using the TAS Profile Scanner Plus. Sign up today and try this amazing piece of software by visiting TFNN.com. 
Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming, see high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Andy Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen live during those shows and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. John takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Hi, guys. Just uh, sending some notes to some people here. Okay, Delta Airlines. Um... The right thing up there. Uh, dailies. Okay, so let's see what's happening this morning. No prints this morning. A lot of these stocks haven't started printing yet. Here's the daily. Thought I was losing my mind. Had the wrong time frame up. This is a. Uh, you know, something you're going to keep your eye on is the stock breaking down on the uh, on the daily profiles. But again, let's see how the market. If we open unchanged here, I think you got an all-out sell with stops above 50.20 on Delta. Uh, let's take a look at a couple of other ones. Uh, Kroger was in this list. You know, Kroger's been something. Let me just pull it up here. Not participating that well, of course. Here's the weekly on Kroger. Um, I always want to say Kroger. I think of Kruger on Seinfeld. Cougar. Kruger. Here we go. 32.24. Weekly unfair lows there. Uh, here's the daily. So this is what I would call a flat-out technical damaging event for KR Kroger. Kruger. Um couple other ones here just looking sick general mills we've talked about that one before a um, couple other stocks if you're looking for things that might fall if the market happens to ever come in and again you know we you know for guys who have wanted to short this market we've talked about the S&P's not looking like the best short in the world of course um, sometimes it's easier to drill down into the market internals and try to find things that are a little bit easier to short in case the market comes off ever, which we will never know that ever again, because it might not ever come off again. But if it does, uh, you've got some odds putting some leverage into some stocks that are kind of sick. So uh, let's take a look at uh, MNST. And I'm going to click on this and just show the chart and the scanner really quick. And there you go. There's the daily. Here's the weekly. This is a pretty good looking situation to me. Um, they had a good run. Um, Monster beverage, but getting below these 
42 areas is pretty daggone serious here at this stage. And uh, you could have some people will start to be tested. Watch out for reversals. You got to put your stops in. But um, that's one to keep on your radar screen. Netflix. Let's see what's going on here. Hold on. Netflix. We were looking at the weekly. I, I am losing my mind this morning. Sorry about that, guys. Let me switch to the daily here. All right. So as we look at this, Netflix kind of starting to show a little bit of a concerning situation here. You're going to have to see how it opens. I think we are trading. looks like 142.83. Might want to keep your eye on this one. This one looks like it's kind of running out of gas here. I mean, you know, you look at it on a sheer relativity basis. It was kind of buy support, buy breakouts, buy support, buy breakouts. Cracks in the armor kind of showed them early. Not wanting to make new highs with the market. We've had some adverse green bars down be down below here on Navigator. And um, keep your eye on this one. I, I don't mind looking at this as a short, too, even though it's not one that's just throwing up here. Um, on a relativity type scale, Netflix is just looking tired. And you've also got some things to play defense against. And the other thing on Netflix that I was looking at on the weekly there in the scanner, you got all these inflection points. 143.79. So we could explore the, your target. The good news is, is your targets are there at 137.29 on this. And I actually think that can happen. So if you're looking for something to trade, a trading opportunity, you might have something in Netflix here. By the way, I talked to some guys out in Silicon Valley, a pretty smart guy that said, stay away from snap. I know somebody, he's uh He's somebody I work with out there, and he said that thing will be zero in three years. I'm telling you, that's what he said. I don't know how that's sitting with some folks out there, but uh, just passing it on. P, I, you know what? If you if you know something else about that, I'd love for you to call in and let's talk about it. Um, because. That may be, I mean, you know, things change so quickly in that environment. We're actually working on something called Loop, L-O-O-P. And David uh, David White will probably, if he, if he wants to call in, I can talk about this. It's it's a, uh, it, it's kind of a, it started out as a, it's something in WebRTC environment, which means you can kind of do an instant meeting right in a browser. You don't have to install anything and all that. But it's it was kind of developed after we took it over um, as a um, kind of a developer's tool. But it allows you to completely collaborate, record all the sessions, you know, use it as a GitHub type Bitbucket environment, David. I know you know about that. And just, you know, the problem is, is when you have a meeting um, and you have this kind of, these kind of collaboration events and chat messages and all that, this thing allows you to actually record all the audio and everything else and house all the, the stage server type uh, development tools that are going on. It's very, very cool. And uh, we thought changing the name to Loop, L-O-O-P, instead of what it is now, would, would kind of cover a lot of bases. It doesn't really exclude any opportunities for any of the market sectors that want to collaborate with it. It's a very cool scene, but I'm just saying that because Snap, you know, could get outdated pretty quickly <laughs> um, it, it, you know, watch out. It could be like a GoPro situation. Just let's just take a look at GoPro while we're talking about it. But I never understood how in the world this company was ever going to long term make money. I mean, they basically cobbled together some things that are already kind of known. Um, and there's some, you know, Snapchat could end up exactly like this. And I know there was a little bit of a fever and there's a lot of people wanting to buy stock right now you got to watch out for that but i wouldn't be a long-term investor in any type of things like snap right now that's my two cents all right let's take another look at uh 
something that was in the scanner here. Here we go. CarMax, um, KMX. Let's take a look at this one. This is the daily on CarMax. If I can get the chart to work here. This is the daily on CarMax. So as you can see, a stock that's kind of been not been doing badly uh, going up with the market to some degree, but has shown some relative weakness. And I want to put this up on the main chart here. There you go. We're going to take a look at this when we get back, folks, um, and talk about how we're going to trade it when we come back. TFNN has just launched a special event in Tampa with Tom O'Brien taking place March 18th, sponsored by Nadex. Tom O'Brien will be presenting two workshops for a combined two and a half hours of education, bisecting and dissecting his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System. March 18th kicks off with a continental breakfast as we get everyone checked in, and that is followed by two 75-minute workshops with Tom O'Brien. The first workshop from 8.45 until 10 a.m. will cover quality volume, cause and effect, and ABC structures, and the second workshop from 10.15 until 11.30 a.m. will cover swing points, testing, and the Tiger Gartley. Tom will then wrap things up with a question and answer session, which will be followed by a Tiger luncheon social on the rooftop of the Westin Hotel. The best part is that it's all free, but you must register to attend. Visit the front page of TFNN.com for all the details and to sign up today, and we hope to see you in Tampa on March 18th. Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how Everbank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? Everbank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. Looking to diversify? Everbank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. Until recently, it was almost impossible for the average investor to hedge against currency risk in Europe or Japan. For a bold trade on Europe or Japan that protects against moves in currency, trade HEGE or HEGJ, two times currency hedged leveraged ETFs from Direction Investments. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show. Just catching up on the den here. All right. So we've confirmed Snap may not be a great idea. Here's KMX. You know, even though it showed up on a breakdown list here, there's KMX, CarMax. We've got to take a look at the weekly. And, you know, just considering that we're kind of down here, the risk reward on this trade's not that good. So you, you've got big support in a stock that's been in an uptrend here at 63.55. So uh, this is one where you just kind of want to. 30,000 foot view, look at what's going on here. Here's the weekly. Um, and as you can see, 
not the most attractive situation. Well, that's the daily again. Sorry about that. Let's get this correct here. There's the weekly. Sorry about that. All right. Let's take a look at a couple other ones here. Um, man. Wow. Frontier Communications. Man. Wow. That's the weekly. God, mama. Not cool. Yeah, that's that's pretty sad. Um, we took a look at Delta Airlines earlier. I want to take a look at a couple other airlines here while we're on that topic. UAL. Here's the situation on the daily here. Here we go. Yeah, not a lot of edge there. Kind of scary to the short or go long those particular stocks again not a lot of edge here's uh southwest airlines man they got the hedging right a while back and uh this is the situation on luv so again still not as short if you're looking to try to pile into something that you think may have gone too high too fast had a daily close back in the profile before and then just completely in one day blew that out so that that's kind of a kind of a reversal sign that I don't want to be in the profile here and I want to stay outside. So this is one you got to pay attention to still from the long side here. Uh, let's see here. Here we go. Talked about Monster Beverage. Talked about Netflix. Let's take a look at Staples. These are, again, some stocks that uh, Target, Tractor Supply, Man, I love Tractor Supply. I don't know about you guys. TSCO. So here's the drill on Tractor Supply. Even though it's just been kind of continual, I mean, got dumped, and then, you know, we're coming down into some areas here. get this off here and we're trading man we're not printing this morning but you know we're coming down into these areas that have kind of bounced a little bit off these inflection points when you see these things crowding and not wanting to stay away from these areas you know you might want to wait for some lower numbers here to try to buy this uh, 6850 would kind of be Custer's last stance on this trade but you you got a chance to dig in here to try to catch a bounce on this but this particular sector again being the brick and mortar situation that it is you got to watch out. Here's Target. Um, you know, we talked about let somebody else figure out the bottom. I still think that's the case on this, even though we we bounced a little bit yesterday. Uh, here's the 240s. So, and let me see where it's at this morning. Is that a real print? Yep, looks like around well, 59. So not not op there's the daily not opening up much on a pretty big gap up this morning. Here's your 240 inflection points, 57.84 and 60.96. Let's just call it 61. So we're not anywhere in any area to try to gain any edge, to try to pick battles around areas you can play defense. So that's the story on target. All this information is in the scanner. Let's take a look at Staples. Um, no, no prints yet this morning. This is a, this is a bad situation waiting for another shoe to drop here. So you're right on the precipice of the cliff here and you got to really imagine that this is going to do a sell off just to do it, especially in a market like this. If we get any types of turnarounds, you got to figure there's people that are going to be trying to get out the door at the same time on the on the uh, long side here. This is this is a tenuous situation to say the least. Keep these keep keep this particular stock on the radar screen. It, you you could have a little bit of a of a meltdown happening on this one too. Let's take a look at a couple other ones here. Okay, let's hit this one. Oh, God, my goodness, things on their lows go lower. Man, that's tough. General Mills, um, you know, this is one I've been continuing to follow. 
This is a weekly on General Mills. Something's wrong here. Gap down, go back and retest. Um, I think you got a pretty simple, riskless, low risk trade, excuse me, on General Mills. Here's the e signal charts on it. Here's the weekly. Yeah. I think we could easily go back and revisit those lows of the week two weeks ago. Those lows are 5870. Not 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 a huge bang for your buck there on that one. Um, like trading Tesla or something like that, but again, boring sometimes is good when it comes to trading, so keep that one on your radar screen. Let's take a look at uh, David White's favorite long-term investment, Tesla. That's a joke. That's a joke. Um, but we talked about, you know, yesterday, a lot of times it's it's cool to let the market come to you. We had some technical damage on the dailies. We had that big yellow bar happening midday the other day, last week. And then you get down and you pretty much have hit that and bounced off. So... Uh, talked about wait until the market to come to you. If you missed, you know, the kind of breakdown that day, you got another chance to pick a battle for a trading opportunity on a pretty volatile stock, and that was kind of bored out. Two forty one fifty three, I think. What were these? Two two forty two. So we got within about fifty cents of that, forty some cents actually. We bounced pretty good off of that inflection point. So what do you do with it now? Uh, that might have been the trading bounce. I mean, we're trading about 254 this morning, so we're up, gapping up with the market. And right now, if you're looking to kind of the technical breakdown and retracement, now you've got to wait for 262.44 to happen to look at this from the short side. But again, this is not for the faint of heart. Let's take a look at what the autos are doing in the middle of all this. Looks like we're printing up a little bit this morning on Ford 1263. So we're back up to the top of the range here, not making new highs as the market's making new highs. I kind of like this as a short, actually. You know, these, these business models on and offshore for these particular companies are very up in the air right now. We'll be right back. Does the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software 
software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, 6 videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under trading newsletters. This segment is brought to you by TFNN. Test drive all the newsletters for free at TFNN.com. Let's take a look at MLM. Here we go. Martin Marietta. All right, so Trump speaks. We're trading... 219 early here. We're right at again the weekly unfair lows here. Something's something's weird about this. Um, if you're going to go long again, I'd, I'd rather wait for a daily close above 219.52 on that one. Let's take a look at Under Armour. The company that let's make sure we got the right chart up here. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay, so here's the weekly. Here's the daily. We had talked about, you know, not trying to... This is kind of like the target situation um, to me. A company that has found a way to... Wow. Really take advantage of spandex. Here we go. All right. So 2136 yesterday just got completely unhinged on the downside, getting below profiles again and got carried away. Do you pick this up on sale? No, you don't. Um, this is one, you know, you got a lot of indications on a relative scale that this is a relatively weak stock. There's no other way to look at it. And you're not seeing anything or going to reverse the, your, this yourself. There's too many people trying to get out of this piece of crap right now, so don't get involved with it on the long side. There's much better things to look at buying support. Uh, General Electric. So here we are on the weekly on General Electric. 29.54. That would be support for this stock. Uh, 29. We're trading about 30 this morning, so kind of right in the middle of the fair auction. No edge here. Not, you know, not a bad dividend play, of course, but let's take a look at Coca-Cola. All right, so Coke, I, I still think you got to look for shorts on this thing whenever you can. Got a lot of headwinds for this company, all things considered, quite a few things to think about when trying to go long Coca-Cola right now. Banking stocks, just to name a few, American Express. Let's just see how that puppy's doing this morning. Uh, it might be a real print, 8060. No idea if it is. It might be. Um, again, this is nothing you want to play around with here on the short side yet. We talked about this one being the strong of the strong. Bank of America. Similar situation. Citigroup. All right, so Citigroup, here's the story on Citigroup. I mean, you, you obviously have a stock that's kind of underperforming the sector. This is the weekly on Citigroup. And what do you do with something like this? We're trading 61.19 this morning. So we're up above 
weekly unfair highs now. Did we have earnings on that? Anyway, we're back above 61 unfair highs here. So you got to watch out. Any type of reversals back in the profile today would kind of send a flag up to me. So we're trading a little bit above there right now. If we can reverse back down into that profile today, that might give you some opportunity to trade it down to 58.38, but a um, little bit more of a riskier play. Let's take a look at copper. This is one we looked at the other day, trying to trade the, you know, close in the profile, go back and retrace. We've got a new profile that edged a little bit higher here. Uh, still looking at this, that it, you know, it's it's not the easiest short in the world, but uh, yeah, I think you should stay away from that. That's not a lot of edge there. Let's take a look at silver. So here's the situation on silver. Uh, again, not looking terribly bad at all here. Gold. It's amazing that that thing's sitting on the launching pad here. Gold we looked at earlier, kind of still migrating down south here. 1236 might be the back the truck up sign on gold. Dollar we reviewed earlier, just for you guys coming in late. Uh, all bets are off on the short side right now. Got to take the medicine and move on. Netflix, 142.90. So uh, trading back up into these uh, unfair lows here on the daily. Kind of put the stake in the ground we talked about earlier. 137.29 is your opportunity on Netflix. 3M. Something I wanted to look at. Uh, this one, you know, it, it, this is the sign. I mean, and again, I think we are, well, we closed at 186.35. So this one's going to have a new profile. And again, you can go into the scanner and find these types of sorts. I'm going to go into our dashboard here. And if I want to see new boxes attempting to appear on dailies, there we go. And 3M's right there. So if you got stocks on your watch list and you want to know when, hey, it might be time to start looking at, we've reached our targets right now. We're going to have a new supply happening on this stock. So, again, you can pretty much identify when the worm is turning on some of the trending stocks by looking at, you know, when it's time to start looking at taking some profits. Uh, a couple other on the table here, uh, Hewlett Packard. Johnson and Johnson. Okay, so let's take a look at Johnson and Johnson because this is one we actually somebody called in about the other day. So we've had a good run. We talked. I think we talked about a trade down here, one twelve targets for the short and then um, breakouts above weekly. So you got a situation here. We're trading. It looks like we're printing this morning, 122.33, not really gapping up with the market. So this is definitely something you should probably think about scaling out of some of this long here. First indications, we will have a new profile today. That will happen. It's a fact. You'll see that in the scanner. And then you may have some lower areas to try to pick it up again based on some lower inflection points. Let's take a look at a couple other things here. Let's see. Uh, Oracle. Whole Foods. Let's take a look at Whole Foods. WFM. <clears throat> wow. Okay. So what's happening here? is Whole Foods actually, this this means that we're probably going to have a profile appear above price action today. That's what that red bar means, just going from green to red, and that's in the scanner. So Whole Foods, we're going to continue this conversation when we come back about Whole Foods. Guys, we'll be right back.
Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Trader's Edge, heard daily at TFNN.com and author of Mastering Probability, a daily investment and trading newsletter service that I send out each morning by 8 a.m. My morning newsletter service covers exactly what the markets have been doing since last night's close, providing you with an edge on your trading day ahead. You get actionable trading ideas, including the exact entry, stop, and profit targets. Plus, I'll teach you the patterns and hidden market correlations that will make you a better trader. As a subscriber, you'll gain access to my 90-minute money management workshop, where I'll teach you the secrets that'll save your assets. The bottom line, I've got your back, including a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the type of analysis I provide each trading day by signing up for Mastering Probability today. With nothing to lose, this is an offer you should not pass on. Mastering Probability can be found under trading newsletters on the front page of TFNM.com. Catch Larry Pesavento, a 40-year veteran trader. He uses pattern recognition, Gartley's, Butterflies, ABCs, and Fibonacci in order to trade these markets. Trade what you see, next on TFNN. Hi, guys. Welcome back to the show, and I think we're completely honored. I think David White has called in. David, are you there? Yes, I am here. Great, great. How are you? Good. I just wanted to pick up on the SNAP thing. Okay. Um, there's a few IPOs where you can just, you know they're going to fail, and there's a handful of reasons. Most people don't think about the business reasons a great deal. They think about the product. Uh, like you said about uh, GoPro, you know, how are they ever going to do all this? They come up with some nice, lofty-sounding stuff. We're going to be a media company. People are going to throw all our stuff on it. We're going to be kind of like YouTube. And really what they were doing was selling cameras that had compression chips in it that you can now buy for $30 that are 90% as good as a three or $400 camera. Yeah. And that is the history of hardware without compelling software behind it or some kind of uh, other product. So when you start looking at Snap, I think a lot of people go, well, you know, it's a neat product and everybody's using it. The question is, are there big, like in GoPro, are there big barriers to entry to other people that other people couldn't do exactly the same thing? That was uh, pretty much the Groupon problem, right? Yeah. What stopped uh, Google or Amazon or any of these other folks from doing the exact same thing? Well, there was nothing. Everybody could duplicate it exactly like that. And I know you're real hot on on loop right now. 
what's 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 the business case that tells me that everybody just isn't going to do it that makes you so excited about that um well just the same way people are excited about snap i mean you know it, it it's gonna it, it's it's kind of re repackaging rebundling some things um but I mean, as a developer, I I, I know, and you, you're a developer, obviously, you know where the holes are in trying to patch together things and communicate. And um, this was kind of more. I mean, not that not that you can't go into like a, um, you know, some uh, like space between Skype and Slack. Like, there's a lot of add-ons and a lot of third-party ecosystem marketplaces that kind of would. You know, basically, you could accomplish this concept with loop or, you know, with kind of patching things together. But this would just be a kind of a kind of like a GoPro thing. Let's, you know, let's just kind of combine it all and uh, make it easy in one. For, for, yeah, but for investors, mm -hmm. isn't kind of loop. I'm not talking about going kind of, public. I'm not talking yeah, about Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I mean, but, but you brought up probably the biggest company in Silicon Valley that very few talk about. Everybody talks about in Silicon Valley, but it doesn't seem to get out of there, and that's Slack. Yeah, um, you know they. We, I know, I know, I know. But uh, there's there's tremendous like that's kind of seemingly now the the benchmark for uh, how they've marketed, how they've kind of created the buzz, um, and you know things change so quickly these days. You know that. I mean that's why I think Snap is is just destined to fail really yeah um, well that that, that yeah. goes back though to barriers to entry right if everybody can do it then what's so special about it right and that's you know like i said groupon or uh, even gopro was there anything that those guys had that someone else couldn't duplicate and there's you know there's knowing your customer which is a big part of that knowing your customer better than anybody else but there's also but, the huh I think the WebRTC environment, too, is a little bit kind of a wild, wild west right now. Nobody's really gotten it right, except for what we've been working on, I think. But, uh, well, so you yeah. think that you have something that's better, just but you're just using the technology? At least right now. Okay. <laughs> we'll talk later. Okay, David. Thanks for calling in. Thanks, guys. I think Larry's out today, so uh, we'll see what happens next hour. Not sure yet. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave Sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. This is TFNN.